Hello Taurus, let's talk about your love life. Look at on the cut, we have Capricorn energy, the Capricorn Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon card reversed. So we're going to find out something. I like it. What we're seeing here is that you're going to find some answers, Taurus. Also, we have this energy at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. Again, you have something you're, you need to find out. There's a smoky trail. There's something you need to know. So we're going to do, ooh, you might be wondering if someone is married or in a commitment. But let's take a look. So for our Taurus friends, ooh, nice, lovely energy. Oh, so Taurus, Venus, your planet of love and money and wealth and everything that you adore. Let's see what we have here now for your mutual energy with your love interest, Taurus. All right. World card, finishing a successful cycle in your life to start another successful cycle, and that is Aquarius and Saturn energy. Something serious, you may have had a promotion. Currently, you are slow walking your way with your partner. Your mutual energy is Virgo. Let's think about how to work this out. Taurus, Virgo is very compatible with you. Like the energy. So let's see how your person views the situation. Judgment card says that your person feels that something needs to be released or a decision has to be made, releasing judgment on something. All right, and that is Scorpio energy. Interesting, that's your seventh house of love. Judgment card is always an interesting card. It's usually a very healthy card. How does your person view you as their future? You are their ship that has arrived in the harbor. They see you as adventuresome. They see you as fun. They see you as tiki torches and starry nights. How do they feel in their heart space? They have to make a decision. They're juggling two different ideas. They're not really sure yet how they feel. This is probably a somewhat new relationship. All right. They may have to give up another relationship to have the relationship with you. So it may be the early part of a relationship since the cycle is closing out. Let's see what else we have for our Taurus friends. Ah, those cards are jammed up. What do we need to know here? The Tower card. Okay. I'm going to put that over at this side here because the Tower card was just, it was like not really popping out, but it was sort of insisting to come out. So Tower card is the energy of Aries and it can be a sudden argument. It can be an epiphany. It can be good. It really can be good. Just depends on the other cards around it. So what I see is your person is going through an epiphany in terms of their love life. They are manifesting you and they are unhappy in what appears to be another relationship. And meeting you has given them this understanding that they may want to start this cycle with you, okay? So it really is, it's important energy, you know? We don't, sometimes we just meet someone out of the blue and we realize that we weren't happy in the place that we were at. They're trying to manifest you also, okay? So trying to manifest something better with you. What do we see as the hidden energy between you and your person, Taurus? What is the hidden energy between Taurus and their person? That one wanted to come out. Ah, Page of Cups, the early stages of a relationship. That is, um, you don't necessarily believe in the relationship because if you look at this card very closely, you see a little pig and it has wings. So the saying is, when pigs fly. So <laughs> the two of you are very attracted to one another. But you're not sure if it's a practical um, attraction, whether it can really manifest. So let's see what we have. What is spirit suggesting? Ah, look at that. Those just flipped over. Spirit's advice is, oh wow, there's a lot of advice here for you, Taurus. It's to pursue romance, offer a cup of love, at the right time, wheel of fortune, there may have to, oh, both of you may have to leave another relationship. Look at that. Two people both walking away. One from to get better happiness and the other of you because you've been treated poorly 
by a person with whom you've been having a relationship. So to me, this is a new love relationship reading for most of you. And we have the Ten of Coins. Spirit is saying that this relationship could go the distance. This could be the one. This could be the relationship that creates legacy and abundance. And Taurus, that is so what you want to do. So we have Virgo energy. We also have the energy of Pisces. We have Gemini energy. And we have Sagittarius and Pisces again. What's the outcome? What is the outcome? This is, looks like a, an early bird relationship. It's dinner at four instead of dinner at seven. So it's early. Oh, both of you. Okay, so your outcome is that you'll continue. You may be talking on the internet. You may be talking on WhatsApp or Messenger. It looks as though you might be sharing pictures, but it looks as though the two of you are sharing uh, because we have the card of equal give and take. Look at that, Taurus energy. There you are. You know, you like and need consistency, Taurus. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to clarify all these cards and I'm going to give you a table shot so you can see them better. One of my favorite ways to do things. Okay, so let's see what the energy is here for you. What is, why is the world card here for our Taurus friends? What is this about in this connection? What is this about? For Taurus, let's see why is the world card here for Taurus. There we go. <gasps> Look at that Taurus energy. So you may be closing out a cycle in which with someone you may have had children with, but it also speaks to the mutual energy between you and your lover at this time is that they want to manifest this new beginning with you. Start a new beginning with you. Yes, making you a significant offer. So you want to do this with each other because it is mutual energy. Both of you want to give to this relationship. Taurus energy and the Ace of Coins is, of course, Earth sign energy. Look at this. Slowly walking away from one thing into this relationship with you. The world card again. Both of you very eager. You're not talking about it at this time. Scorpio energy says that you're being very quiet that you're feeling the vibes, you're enjoying the love feelings, and look at this, the mutual energy is. Spirit is telling you, Ten of Coins, this could be the one. And both of you are not really speaking this with the Scorpio King. You're not talking about how you feel, but right now both of you feel that you could be the one. Now the Judgment card would call on like the Judgment of Divorce. It could mean that you know, your person views the situation as having to leave one person to go to another. Let's see what we have here. Slowly, <laughs> this is a great reading. Okay, so it's really logical, right? It's really logical. So let's see what else we have here. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why do they view you as their future? They view you as a person who is very introspective. It is Virgo energy along with fire sign energy. So we have this beautiful energy that says, you know, that essentially um, your person is a very thoughtful person and they really have deep respect for you on that issue. Let's see why we have the two of coins here for our beautiful Taurus friends. Equal give and take again. You know, we have that energy of equal give and take. So your person is very much uh, in this, do we, do we give to the relationship? And the answer looks like it is clarified, yes. Again, your person looks as though they're involved with somebody else. You know, we get this energy that there's involvements with other relationships for both of you. Why is the Five of Cups here? Your person feels the situation is reflecting and helping them realize that they feel alive again for the first time. It comes as a shock, but they were living and they were viewing their situation in love as being very unhappy. And look at the, the um, tower card is clarified by the passion they feel for you. Why is the magician card here? Let's see. Ten of Cups. So they are trying to manifest with you a happily ever after relationship. And why is the Five of Cups here? 
because they're learning how to be happy. Your person has been in this situation. It appears with another person. Your person has been feeling sad and lonely and just like you came along and you shook things up. They didn't expect it. You came out of the blue. They're having all of these feelings. They want to go from being sad into the joyfulness of getting to know you and having fun with you playing that is eat drink be merry introducing you to their friends let's see what else we have here we have cards that have fallen for what's hidden what's hidden Ooh, the leo king that is romance of the fifth house we see that both of you find yourselves feeling as though this is your best friend we also see both of you, the hidden energy here is that you both want to invest. And part of what you want to invest in is passion and friendship. Look at that. Sagittarius energy. Not This is about having fun. It's about getting to know each other. It's about finding your happy place in this life and letting go of that which does not serve you and moving methodically forward. You're both in this beautiful matched energy. What do we see here in terms of spirit's advice to people who may be married, who may be married to other people, at least a connection that both of you appear to have, and spirit is saying this may be the one. So what is, this card was just laying there, look at that. I went, I picked up the deck and looked over. So both of you are healing. So why is this, why are these cards here that spirit is suggesting that you may need to leave a yeah, you may need to leave a marriage to be married to each other. Beautiful. Oh, wow. All right. So, obviously, this is early in the relationship. And obviously, both of you are wise enough to take this Virgo soft approach energy. Neither of you are going to be, you know, sort of like crazily doing things. You've had your epiphanies. You have your recognition of what you represent to each other. You're both very clear-eyed on this. So let's see here. Let's see what the energy is for your outcome card. Why do we have the Page of Swords here for you? Why? Let's clarify the Page of Swords. A new beginning. Ah! You're going to talk about a new beginning. You're going to communicate online, texting. Why is it that we have the Six of Coins here? You're being very judicious. Look at this. The Six of Coins is cool, calm, collected, Aquarius. Making decisions about a new beginning. You might be old Facebook friends. You may know each other or have or been acquaintances. But what we're getting here is that both of you are going to be very cool-headed Aquarius energy. This King of Swords energy about, you know, what you expect, what you want. That's your outcome this at this time with a new beginning and you're talking a lot. So again, I feel that this is new love. Let's see, Taurus, what is hidden? What is the hidden nuance of this relationship that has yet to be revealed? Okay. Benefactor, grace and generosity. That's what this relationship will bring to you. That is what you will have in this love relationship that you probably have never experienced before in quite this way.